It's about 11.54 at night. And I'm sorry I don't sound completely alert or awake, but my fish just woke me up. I was sleeping on the couch, and forgive the absolute mess, I was seriously watching YouTube videos. And I fell asleep, and there was a commotion in the tank. They were jumping or something. I have no idea. And I just hear this like rustling sound on the ground. And my purple firefish, who is now hiding, had jumped out of the tank. He was back there. Holy crap. I thought I did a good job building lids. I'll show you those tomorrow in the daylight. So here are the tops that were on the tank when the tile fish jumped out. And it's some DIY screens with some egg crate. And when I put these together, I thought I did a really good job. I mean, how could they jump through that? So the screen that you see here is actually out of an industrial membrane unit. And you're not going to be able to just go to the store and buy that. I just found some we were throwing away at work and took it home with me. And the frame is just basically screen framing. Now, when I bought this stuff, I was hoping to be able to use a spline tool and push it in and make it look real nice. But it's just, it's too thick. It won't bend in there like normal screen. So it's all just zip tied on. And then I cut the egg crate to fit and I thought it was going to be great. The problem is, is they were able to actually jump through the holes in the egg crate. So what I ended up doing was I ended up putting some of the mesh behind the egg crate. So now when they jump up into the egg crate, they can't go through it because they're going to hit the mesh. And I've also got mesh running behind the screen itself to cover any of the small gaps. And now it's a pretty well sealed tank. So hopefully this is going to keep all of the tile fish in the tank. And for the last three days, it's worked. And both of the purple tile fish are doing really well. So even though one of them jumped out and I'm not sure which one it was, they're both out. They're both feeding really well. And they're both adapting to the tank really well. So I got really lucky that I was just happened to fall asleep on the couch, heard one of these guys jump out and was able to get him back in the tank and get the tops fixed before anything major happened. So I'm super lucky. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers and I'll see you on the next one.